All right, we are working on Genesis again, and I need your help with a problem. I'm not sure what to do. So here's the scoop. Um, got this um, Z690 Maximus Glacial Extreme uh, installed, which is a beautiful, beautiful motherboard. I love the monoblock on it. Um, but a little bit of a challenge. The Z690 Maximus Extreme non-glacial version has a little release right here. And that release is so that you can push a button here and it releases your GPU, which on the Extreme is awesome. I love the idea of being able to swap out a graphics card very simply. On this, it would be really important if they had that here. And I don't know why they eliminated it. I actually tore this all apart and looked at the channeling and under, under here and I cannot figure out why they didn't design the monoblock around that release. Because, I'm gonna give you a close up here. When you go to install this, and I've, real quick, before I install this, I actually removed the latch here because of this problem. We install it, okay, so we go ahead and plug it in, and I'm not gonna screw it in right now, um, but we'll zoom in here, you'll see there's no access to that slot, top, bottom, or anywhere to be able to take this out should I ever need to maintain this. The only way of actually removing the graphics card in this position would be to literally yank it out. I don't understand the design of this, very strange. So the other thing I was considering was going vertical and I'll show you here why I have a challenge doing this. Now what I'm going to do first off is get this plugged in and I can go ahead and I can leave my retention clip there in and you get this installed. So let me do that. We'll be right back here. Okay and with the vertical bracket installed um, the challenge I have is this is the one that actually, first I'm gonna back up, this is the one that, the vertical bracket that actually comes with the case, which is interesting uh, that they th uh, thought far enough forward with this one because this one brings the GPU as far forward as it physically can. Um, cable mods, Lian Lee's, Fantax other one, all pushes the GPU even further back. And that's important because my fitting right now, just to be able to get to it, Barely touching the monoblock. Probably not a huge issue, but these fittings can get warm. I mean, the reality is, is if you're running full load on everything uh, and you notice it most in testing or if you're doing a long gaming session, these fittings can get hot because the fluid itself is heating up. On top of that, and that's probably the minor thing for me, what I don't like about it is it covers up a big chunk of the block, which is what the board is about is the look of the board so you can see it. Yes, this fills the space nicely. It looks fantastic, especially with the fact of us having the, um, the block installed on here on this 3090. It looks beautiful, but you're just, you're taking away from so much of what this um, motherboard is that I'm going back to, well, maybe I want to go ahead and try to secure it in the horizontal fashion or the standard moaning. That is my conundrum. And the reason why is I don't necessarily like how that's filling up. And one other thing too, this um, GPU uh, riser kit that came with the case is very unique. And Vantex does not have a riser cable for it that is a Gen 4 riser cable. So you have a Gen 4, actually technically Gen 5, I guess, uh, PCIe compatible board. Not a big deal, because I know we're not filling the bandwidth yet, but it could be in the future, with a, limited by a G, uh, the Gen 3 PCIe riser cable. You can get Gen 4 riser cables. However, because of how this one is designed, they don't fit. So I looked at, um, oh, my brain's going dead. I can't think of the name of the um, link, link up, link. Lincoln, I can't remember the name of the the, uh, the brand, but uh, just I'm losing my brain drought right now, or my brain power. But 
There are other PCIe cables, but they don't fit. They don't make them so that I can fit for this. I've reached out to Fantex a couple times. I've not gotten any other answers of one person says, no, we're not gonna do anything. Another person says, well, we might do something because we might have to, but it might not be for that riser cable, it might be for the other one, which doesn't solve the problem because the other one pushes the cable, the um, GPU so far back, it's impossible to install. You, could, you can't get access to the back of the, of the ports. So very strange uh, design. And the fact that Fantex at this point is saying, Mm, we might not be able to do anything, sorry about your thousand dollars case, screw you kind of thing, is a little annoying. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, that's my conundrum, so I really like some feedback. Do you like the look of this, or do you like the look of it the other way, vertical? And should I just remove that club? I did find a very nice uh, a horizontal GPU sag brace, or a brace if you will, that's LED lit. Uh, I think it might look really cool, and again, would fill some of that space, but again, it's gonna block a little bit of the back of the board, but not that much. So th that's my conundrum right now. Oh, the other thing with this too, as an FYI, is when you do this, you have to bend back your peg here, and I'll show you a video of that. And you can only screw it down on three points, you can't screw it down on all three, or on two points, I should say, not on all three, but I guess that's probably not the end of the world. Going back through this, um, wanna touch on the fact that, you see, I did switch, uh, switch out my, um, Noctua industrial fans, which as fans go, they're the best fans in the market. I just, I, they're black and they're amazing. They just work, they're the best fans. But I want to eliminate cables because I still want the RG main here. So what I did is I went to um, Leon Lee's uh, Unifan so that I could just a daisy chain them. And they connect together really well. I'll show you that here. Um, as you can see, they link together very nicely. And what that does is it allows me to have one cable off of sec each section. So I'm going to have a cable coming off of here, one single cable, well, two, I guess, one for the RGB, uh, the digital RGB, and one for the fan, PWM, one off of here, one off of here, one off of here, and then one off of here. And this one I'm going to have to sync up because the hub that it comes with has four inputs. So I'll probably sync this one with this, and then I'll run it that way. So I have one, two, three, four zones for the fans and then they run it in unison and I can figure out what I want to do from there. Um, very, very excited to get this thing nice and clean. Um, I did end up doing a bridged three pin, or a three by, what is it? Three by eight pin setup for the power for the uh, GPU. And that's the other thing here is when we do these, these have to get put into here as well. So that'll, it gets a little tight here with, if I use that dim, the dim.2, but um, we'll, we'll kind of go from there. And then you can also see I went ahead and went with uh, 64 gigs of the Corsair Dominator Platinum uh, DDR5. This is a 5600 speed kit. I have 64 gigs of 6000 speed from G-Skill, so it's a faster kit. I just really like the look of this Dominator Platinum kit. I do wish it was a 6000 speed kit, but I haven't looked at my hands on one yet. But, oh well, it is what it is. The nice thing is, cast latency uh, six, uh, 36, I believe. So that'll look really nice. Another thing I'm waiting on is uh, Daniel at uh, Singularity Computers has got their Proteum 2.0s coming out to me, and I'm really excited to use those. Uh, I'm gonna decide if I wanna set those up, how I wanna set them up. I don't know if I'm gonna continue to use this type of uh, setup or if I'm gonna mount them directly to the radiator bracket that I have back here. Uh, it gives more mounting. So we're gonna see if I wanna use those, if I wanna go back to the 2.0s, or I'm sorry, the 1.0s that I actually have. Uh, and you'll go around to the back side of the case and you'll notice how nice and clean the cabling is and how it's going to be. Uh, that was a big reason. All of the cables that I had from, uh, the spe specifically just due to, uh, well, I guess the second GPU, but uh, the, the um, all the individual cabling from the industrial fans. So I had, uh, three, five, six, nine, 12 fans. So 12 cables plus 12 sets of RGB cables. So I had 24 cables that were all in the back just jammed up. I mean, it was a mess back. It was very hard to manage. This I'm hoping will be a lot easier to manage. The other thing that's really nice with this board is it does have a spot here, which you can't see with this in the way. I'll show you a video of it without it, uh, where I can do um, my second USB uh, 3.2 for the front. And what's nice about that, or 3.1, I'm sorry. What's nice about that is because this case is actually meant to have two systems. So it's got 
system one 3.1 and then the system two 3.1. Now I can have them both set up on this. So I've got four USB 3.1s at the front of the case, which is awesome. I'm super pumped about that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I really would like your feedback. I don't know what to do about the GPU mounting. It is driving me nuts. Uh, very frustrating. So I would love your input. Please give it. Otherwise, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and you're going along for the ride for, with me here. Um, input, give it. Hope you like it. If you did, you know what to do. Also hit that subscribe button for me as it helps out a lot. And we will see you next week. Thanks. Bye. So, yeah.